My name is Walter Unglob and this is how to state slope results in an osmosis lab report. So, osmosis is a biological process which involves the diffusion of water across the membrane of a cell. When calculating the slope associated with this diffusive process, one generally starts with calculating at an observation time the difference in weight. So this difference in weight can be calculated as the value of the weight at some previous time, Tn minus 1, minus the weight that you measure in your observation at Tn, where n is some integer. Once you have this, you can actually calculate the rate, say r, at Tn, by taking that difference at Tn and dividing it by the difference in time. So this explicitly is given as W T n minus 1, the weight at the previous observation time, minus W T n, the weight for the observation, divided by time at the observation, T n, minus the time from the previous observation, T n minus 1. So now we have a formula for the rate of osmosis here, of the diffusion. We can also calculate the average rate, R average, by taking all of the data that we collect from a total of n total observations or measurements and what we do is we sum up all the different rates r as a function of tn where n goes from 1 meaning the first observation to big n which is the total number of observations and to normalize this such that we can calculate this average, we divide by the total number of observations. So these equations and their application to the data collected in an experiment would normally be placed in the appendix section of the lab report in which one would tabulate the data, for example. So here I have a table and the first row will be devoted to the different observation times. So I have T1, T2, and T3 here. For this example, I've made simply just three observations. And all the data in this column will be associated with any and all observations made at T1, and likewise for the subsequent times. So here, I would put the rate at time 1, here the rate at time 2, and here the rate at time 3. So this second row would be used for the information RT. So this would be the rate for one particular type of cell or biological material. And then I could use subsequent rows in the table to tabulate for example, a second specimen's rate of osmosis. So I would have R sub 1, 2, and 3 corresponding to the different times, but this data would correspond to a different experiment. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to state slope results in an osmosis lab report.